if we are seeing such horrors in the world, it's even more urgency to discover this truth. Let's put it like that. And because mm, a human being who <coughs> discovers the truth of themselves, we have heard of people like the Lord Buddha 2,500 years ago. He was a physical being at that time. And having grasped the essential knowledge 2,600 years later, beings are still becoming Buddhists, even though he's not in his physical form. Such is the impact of one human being who has discovered the truth. If we say, but there's so much horrors going on in the world, and you know, it seems so such a passive expression to simply focus attention upon yourself when so much is needed in the world. I think this would be um, mm, missing an opportunity, in fact. Somehow, painful as it might seem to admit it, these things, the suffering, wars, all of this, cannot just be gotten over. People have tried using so many different ways, politics and, uh, and uh, humanitarian uh, campaigns and efforts to try and um, put a stop. There's a lot of forces that don't want it to stop also. It's not everyone who wants wars to stop or something. Some forces are working strongly to maintain division amongst people also. So uh, no one human being can change uh, <coughs> such a thing. But one who has really awakened to the truth beyond merely intellectual uh, recognition there's a power that shines uh, out of you that has a tremendous influence and impact and inspiration for many beings. The world will continue to dance in its changefulness. It will continue like that. I see no reason to delay our own um, coming to knowledge, coming to fruition uh, as, uh, as self-realized beings. I don't feel that that, uh, that, that is, can be in any way uh, a negative unfolding. Uh, how can we employ this uh, knowledge somehow? First, just by imbibing it completely yourself. It's no use trying to pass on a knowledge that you yourself have not assimilated. Sometimes we are trying to teach things that we ourselves have not imbibed, not completely maybe theoretically. The one who has really, uh, really assimilated that into their being, uh, a new force is present within them. That is not just uh, a learning, not just an accumulation, an acquire, an acquisition, but uh, it cannot be described. The impact of one who is uh, free. But somebody who is really free has no fear anymore. And if you have no fear, you have power. So uh, I experience that when I see the truth, and there is somebody very ego identified, there can be ego ident uh, identities which, which are very dangerous <coughs> or getting dangerous if they get confronted with what is not true. So the one who is uh, awake to the truth tends not to be confrontational. There's not a need, actually. Because it's funny uh, that um, when you are free uh, from very uh, limited uh, opinions and the personal identity, what tends to happen is that you are not forceful, but your consciousness is able to find uh, um, affinity through different points of view. So you can actually look uh, from inside the point of view of other points of consciousness. And with that, uh, it's a much, much more dynamic and much more powerful exchange because you're not in conflict. I think too far from the place of personality, we, we, um, we engage uh, through conflict, through uh, varying opinions, and we don't get very far. 
our experience in life has shown it's not really worked quite often. This is why uh, almost every nation has always tried to find people who were diplomatic <laughs> to represent them. Someone who has understanding and can just not be too brutal in their, in their way. They sometimes have that underneath. They know what they're trying to get, but on the surface they play the game of uh, diplomacy and that's the nature of uh, politics, you can say like this. But diplomacy has always been, has given human beings a chance to find uh, a way that incorporates everyone's uh, needs and uh, like this. The one who is naturally free knows this instinctively, intuitively, and always move to find common ground uh, between uh, all points of conflict without any rehearsal and without taking any sides, particularly except the side of truth. Mm -hmm.